Most scientific calculators have dedicated keys for sine, cosine and tangent, and second function options for the inverse of each. TI Inspire puts all of these buttons in one location, and as an added advantage, the lesser known trigonometric functions cosecant, secant and cotangent. Let's start with a simple calculation using the calculator application. Suppose you want to calculate the sine of 30 degrees. The first thing to check is that your current application is set to degrees. On the TI Inspire CX2 you can change the angle setting by simply clicking on the current mode. Your calculator will toggle between degrees and the alternative radians. Another way to change the mode is through the document settings. Press the document key, select settings and status, then document settings. Now that we've checked the settings, press the trig key. The first option is sign, so press enter. Type in 30 and then enter to execute the calculation. Now let's calculate the cosine of 45 degrees. Press the trig key. You can use the arrow key to navigate across or just press the trig key again. Then press enter to select cosine. Type in 45 degrees and press enter. Suppose I know the ratio and want to determine the angle. That's when I need to use the inverse operation. In the diagram, the opposite and adjacent sides of the right angle triangle have been provided, so I need to use inverse tan. Since my calculator is set to degrees, the answer will be provided in degrees. If you want the angle in degrees, minutes and seconds, use the catalogue. Press D to scroll down to D, scroll down a little further and find Convert to DMS, degrees, minutes and seconds. The bonus of using the catalogue is that it remembers the last command that you used. So if you need to convert another angle, you can just press the catalogue key and then enter. There is another way to convert to degrees, minutes and seconds. Press Control Catalogue. This accesses the symbols. Choose the solid triangle and then type DMS and we see the same result. In case you're wondering what all those other ratios are about, let's repeat the previous calculation involving the triangle. Cotangent is sort of like an upside down version of tangent. Mathematically speaking it's the reciprocal. So, I'll use inverse cot and calculate the adjacent over the opposite side. Of course I get the same angle, and when I use the catalogue to convert to degrees, minutes and seconds, it remembered where I was last time. Some senior level mathematics courses use radians more frequently than degrees. Suppose you have your current application set to radians but one of your calculations needs to be in degrees. Let's calculate the sine of 30 degrees, this time with the calculator set to radians mode. Press the symbols key, select the degree sign, now the calculator will read your angle as degrees, ignoring the current mode setting for radians. Of course you can do the same in reverse, if your current application is set to degrees, you can use the radian symbol. Remember, always check what the current mode is for your current application.